Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Java memory leaks, how to fix those Java memory leaks, and specifically how to do it without having to dump the JVM heap. How do you do it? Well, you sprinkle in a little bit of Java flight recorder, a little bit of Java mission control, and hey, your Java memory leaks will be fixed. Now this example of how to find, detect, and fix Java memory leaks without having to do a JVM heap dump picks up on Marcus Hertz JMC tutorial in which is a nice little application that, well, it creates a, a little hash table and that hash table gets 100 things put into it and then it gets 100 things removed from it. But he's got a little sneaky little leak speed here which when it goes through the process of doing removal, it may leave one or two things in there. And you can see that leak speed is subtracted from the number of objects being removed, which means this little hash table, this little char array never gets completely empty. And since it's never completely empty, it's never garbage collected. So anyways, this application uh, is a, a nice little example of an application that generates a leak. When you run it, you can just right click on it, say run as Java application and use the auto record feature, which will trigger Java flight recorder. If you're interested in how that happens, it's just a little setting here in the launch configuration that says, hey, run flight recorder and uh, setting a couple of options in there as well. Anyways, I've run this and this is what I got. Right away, Java mission control, it reads the Java flight recorder recording then it says, hey, there's a, a big problem here with your heap size. Um, you need to free up some objects. You need to deal with some leaks. Um, it says the live set on the heap seems to increase with a speed of about 192 kilobytes per second. The analysis of the reference tree found one Java memory leak candidate. The main candidate is this hash table entry. And so that's a pretty good start. I mean, that's telling me right away you know, I haven't even opened up a Java heap, but this Java mission control is telling me that there's a problem inside of my JVM with this particular object, that hash table. And so I can go and grab a little bit more information, but I click on outline over here. I can click on memory and wow, definitely you can actually see that increase of memory going up over time. And it seems like the garbage collector can't even continue to collect all of the garbage because there's so much stuff that it just can't take out of memory. So I've definitely got a problem here. And you can see here that over time, there's been 16 gigs of data allocated to that char object. So that seems pretty crazy as well. Now, this isn't the coolest feature of the whole uh, Java memory leak detection. What's really cool is this live object setting. This Java Mission Control Live Object setting, what it does is it uses a new Java Flight Recorder event. That Java Flight Recorder event is called the Old Object Sample Event. And what it does is it goes into memory and it samples maybe 256, maybe 512 objects, not every object in memory, um, and it keeps track of when it was created, when it was destroyed, and also how much memory it's consuming. Now the thing is, as an object gets garbage collected, a new object goes into that old object sample event cache. And eventually, if an object's got a leak, if an object is leaking, it won't be pulled out of there. And if you allow this process to run over time, it'll actually pick up all of the objects that are leaking. And so you don't even have to do a Java heap dump. You'll be able to run this Java flight recorder, take a look at the live objects that are available in memory, and you should be able to identify the objects that are problematic. And it gives a, a good amount of information as well. If you look at properties down here, it gives you the duration, the event thread that created it, the garbage collection route, um, the last known heap size as well. And so you can use this to troubleshoot and figure out which objects in your application are causing the problem. Um, so a pretty helpful uh, little tool there. Now the other thing too is just some troubleshooting tips. Um, quite often it's the objects that are allocated in the middle of the span, not necessarily when the JVM starts up or even when the JVM closes down that you'll want to look at. So it's a good place to look. But yeah, that's a great way of identifying the problem. Now in this example, you can go in and you can remove that memory leak just by getting rid of that call to the 100 minus memory leak. If you end up 
removing the same number of objects from the hash table that you put into it, it can get garbage collected and it goes away. And so I did a run after making that change. And when I go in and take a look at the run after making the change, notice here's the, the memory leaks before and a, a look at the uh, memory that's cons con consumed here. Afterwards, on a, a run where I get rid of the memory leak, it'll take just a second for it to come up. You'll notice right off the bat in the automated analysis, it's not giving me that error that I had before telling me that, hey, there was a, a really big problem in terms of heap size trend. So that's gone away. Um, I still got, you know, it's a, little, a lot of stuff in memory, so it's not crazy. You can still see that char is still consuming a lot of data. Um, but if you go in, you'll notice that this the memory usage is up and down nicely. We don't have that upward trend from bottom left to top right hand corner like we did on the other one. I'm going to take a quick look at that. And there is the outline and taking a look at the memory. So you can see how that trends upwards. And of course, on the one after the memory leak's been taken away, if you take a look at the live objects, there's actually nothing even sitting in there. So, I mean, that's a great contrast of how the Java Mission Control and Java Flight Recorder can help you identify what a, a leaking object is, what the problem is in your code, when compared to uh, uh, problematic code, to code that doesn't have memory leaks in it. And there you go, that's uh, how easy it is to use Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control to troubleshoot your Java, JVM, JDK memory leaks without having to do a JVM heap dump and sort through that massive piece of data. And there you go, that's how you identify your Java memory leaks with Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control. Now, it may not fix all your problems, but you know, identifying the source of the, of the leak, you know, that's kind of the first step in troubleshooting and fixing the whole problem. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on performance, uh, Java Mission Control, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.